Hello, Yoni. Welcome back to the walkthrough. Wow. Well, let's see who it is. Oh, man. Yeah, Mario. It's Baby Princess Peach. Please change my diaper. I'll pay you five one-ups up front. No, 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 that's, that's, no, I, too unsanitary. Save it for the babysitter. <laughs> Alrighty, world. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> world four. <laughs> Forgot I was still at world two. Should have known by the background. So we got a bunch of stars. Let's use those stars to open up this path. And look at that! Look at that! We've been collecting everything, so of course we have forty stars. <laughs> Bowser's gravity gauntlets. It's time for Bowser's return! Breaking into Bowser's castle. And Bowser probably won't be as threatening as, as you know, he's not usually a very threatening guy, really. <laughs> he's just kind of there to kind of, you stumble across him and you're like, oh, Bowser, my arch nemesis. You know, you kind of pretend that he's a dangerous enemy. And then he's like, oh, Mario. My arch nemesis, and in the case of Bowser, he is absolutely right. Mario is a worthy enemy to him. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see how things turn out after all. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, as you can tell by the, the idea here of the gravity gauntlet is that the gravity is kind of all over the place. <laughs> Just saying here, and you probably want to collect that as it's pretty handy. Whoops, I didn't mean to. I totally, totally failed at my aim. <laughs> that's okay though. That's that's maybe not okay. Oh, I saved it. <laughs> uh, is there anything? It sure looks like there could be something up there, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh man, it isn't. <laughs> I just had to check to see if I could wall kick off that. <laughs> But I could not, alas, alas. As long as I had one health to, to spare for my extended health, by the way, yeah, they'll sink. No big deal or anything like that. Oh, look at that comet middle right at the midpoint. Oh, man. By the way, if you don't have that block, you can just do that. So, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, like, if you accidentally break the block ahead of time. Oh, alternately, of course, you can just do this. Wall kick, <laughs> yeah, off the little corner. So both work just as well. And this is where the controls start getting a little bit weird here. Uh, when you get into this, <laughs> it's not like that lava bubble, it just goes from one to the other. <laughs> it's a nice little touch. So yeah, now I'm pressing up to move forward here instead of the... Uh, yeah, now I'm pressing left. So you can't just like press one direction the whole time, so kind of like... Well, I mean, I guess you can, but you gotta stop for the photo moves, but then when you stop, you gotta switch directions in your, in your control stick, which is kind of kind of disorienting. <laughs> mm, do I want that one up? Maybe. Maybe. And might as well show how to get it, I guess. I'll just go with the flow here gently. <laughs> Chief Chiefs having some coin protection, I guess, duty from Bowser, because Maybe Bowser really does not want Mario to get this one up, but in, in the case of that, well, it's kind of illogical because you could, you could just grab that big question mark coin and bring it with them, but no, he just leaves it behind. <laughs> and I waited for that other bar over there way too long, way too long. I was just talking up a storm, and yeah. Anyway, we are clear. Check the lights. And oh, oh, oh Waffle Doom! <laughs> well, that is kind of awkward to avoid it, you know, at this angle, but eh, it's clearly doable, so no big deal. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hmm, hmm, let's see what's up here. I believe it is going to be a big twisty jump over a fire bar section, if I recall. Wait, oh no, I, I'm thinking of. Oh, I think I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, I think I am. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that automatically leaves you, but I want to see... Yeah, I think that's just the end of the road here. And yeah, it is a fire bar section. 
My memory did not fail me. So yeah, you can go all the way around here all day. Oops. All day long. I wanted to spin there to offset the timing of the fire bar, but I failed. I failed. <laughs> I was a little bit too late on my spinny spin. There we go. So now we gotta go against the flow. See that? See that? Yeah, there's a gate on the other side of that. But I wanna go all the way over for kicks, because why not? Show you, hey, yeah, you can indeed do this too, because yeah, that's what I do. I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now, a gate. I think you know what you'd have to do here. <laughs> I placed the meteors here. Just go for the prank of one of those. You had to give that tutorial again, didn't you? Isn't that a life extension mushroom? Uh, anything hidden around the edges? There never seems to be on these sorts of platforms, is there? Nah. Nah. Alright, let's break them apart. Yeah! One down. Two to go! Oh, jeez, that was poor angle on my part. <laughs> yeah, it's ain't a little bit better here. There we go. I just went way too far over to one side. You know, this would probably be harder with the Ouija, come to think of it. Because, whoops, that was a little bit too high. Because of the thing of, uh, you've got the slide physics, and then you end up just all over the meteor. Alright. Uh oh. Oh man. Oh. Never mind, he's not here. Okay, so no boss. We're okay. No boss are here. Yep, it's safe. Clear to go. We can explore the tower. Oh! I was gonna say we could explore the seat if you wanted to, but I guess not. Whoa! It's you! Well, I expect to realize much from my arch nemesis. Your time is up, Mario. Now it's motion time. And time for my huge fist to meet your puny face. I, I don't know why that Luma is so scared. This is gonna be a piece of cake. <laughs> we we kind of did this before. <laughs> I mean, there, there are some ever so slight changes here, so... You know, it's, it's not that big of a deal or anything like that, but yeah, you see it's... Hmm, we don't have... We don't have meteors, do we? Hmm, so it is, it's a little bit different. We got the shockwave that happens from his fiery punch, but the bottom line is we don't really have anything... Oh, there we go, there they are. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, they have little shockwaves of their own, too. So they gotta just wait until we can get a meteor up and... Man, my jumping skill is failing me here. <laughs> Yeah, I was a little too late there, that's okay. But yeah, that's the idea here, is you're jumping over the shockwaves, and everything has a shockwave here, basically. There's regular meteors that have a shockwave, there's this fist that has a shockwave. It's a grandiose time. Uh, there's my other meteor, there we go. Ah! <laughs> they kind of split apart, so sometimes, sometimes it'll take me a little bit. Especially if I take damage, you know, damage, that's a, that's a spicy meatball when it comes to timing things. <laughs> Alright, so get his punch at a more friendly area. There we go, finally. <laughs> Should not be having this much difficulty on an easy, easy battle. <laughs> just kind of let him do his thing. And I like how the planet just reforms back to a sphere after a punch, and I failed to jump over that again. I timing, I should say my timing anticipation of those things is just utterly sucky today. <laughs> well, not victory. It's phase two. <laughs> Here comes the meteors again. And you notice that there is, uh, the meters are purple too, which indicates they have different properties than what they were before. So yeah, that's how you can tell it's probably a shockwave is going to come from them as well, like his fist. And there we go, I've got the hang of this now, I've got the hang of the rhythm. The beat, the DDR. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, because I got stuff to jump over and I could just get zapped. <laughs> this fire when there's meteors on the ground is kind of... Kind of dicey to dodge a little bit because the meteors are a little bit awkward to 
to get by with said shockwaves just a little bit, but not that big of a deal. Oh, I got um. <laughs> It just said it might offset your timing of running a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, you're shunk again. Where are you getting your hands on those grand stars anyway? I tell you. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? What? How? Well, whatever. My master Flan is too far along now. Mario, you can't stop me. <laughs> Bowser's blasting off again! <laughs> and there is our grand star. You know, I really wish I could run over to that throne somehow, but it's just far, far too far away. Alas, alas. I'll just grab this grand star. <laughs> we already explored that sort of platform anyway, so there's nothing really else to find around there, so. Yeah, we got a grand star. That's all we can get here. <laughs> well, you know, plus the comet medal in the other area. And a new world has been opened up. Aptly named Wolfa. <laughs> yeah. Now let's see what our flubber friend has to say about our travels. Well, he might have something to say. Who knows? <laughs> okay, he always has something to say. Great work there, pal. You did it! You found the fourth Grand Star Grand Star! You fought that Bowser monster again? You look a bit more banged up than last time. He's getting stronger, eh? Yeah, I, maybe a little? <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop that stop Bowser before he gets any more powerful. See, he did it properly that time in terms of grammatically picturesque writing. <laughs> Alright then, let's hit it on the double, Captain! Needless to say, I'll be doing one more star of this part. Go! <laughs> We've kind of seen this a bunch of times already, so I, yeah, well... <laughs> But not this! New World! Well, I guess it's technically you've seen this in, in its own way. <laughs> you've seen it in different varieties with, you know, different galaxies. This place, it looks like it might be pretty well protected. I bet you were moving right in on the enemy's home base. What do you say we drop in unannounced? Maybe the baddies will have snacks for us when we show up. <laughs> Alright, it's all you, Captain. It has been saved. So let's move on. Space Storm Galaxy! But, I'm probably only going to get one of the two stars here this part, because I think it's probably going to take me quite a while. Follow me, bob -um. You know, quite a while to clear out both stars. But don't worry, I'll offset it by some singular galaxy star later anyway, like I did before when I did the first world. All will be well. <laughs> oh man! Big pole stars! Humongous pole stars! Yep, they're really pole stars. <laughs> just like the little ones, the big ones work just as well. <laughs> oh man, this is a spooky galaxy. So spooky, I don't know if I'll be able to even make it through. Eh, I should be fine actually. This is actually a little bit tricky here. Because we actually gotta get ourselves over to that, and uh, yeah, you gotta kind of drop onto it. If you don't, if you don't know to spin doing that, you might kind of be going and flip flopping in circles or trying to offset the timing of those by uh, grabbing an earlier star and letting yourself gently drift over to where something is. You know, the said launch star is basically in terms of the timing. But well, but well, you didn't have to do it with that method. That works just fine because you pull by said star and you know I'm kinda 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 going in circles there to show you stuff but well oh! well, that's that it, it worked out that I meant to do that <laughs> so you gotta find your way around this tubular maze get it to oh, tubular oh man no forget it forget it so I'm gonna try and land on this this time there we go see it's a moving platform <laughs> These are going through those electrical fields there, and there's our comet metal down there, so we gotta 
find their way down there somehow. You know, kind of like here. <laughs> I probably could have just long jumped across over on that side too. That would have worked just as well, but eh, I guess this is how I'm doing it. I guess that's how I'm doing it. I gotta get my jump angle right here, so be a little bit lower than the metal. There we go. Voila! And is there anything else to see here besides the little star bits? Well, star bits are always nice, of course, but now nah, I'm just gonna get zapped if I continue along that path. Alright! Well, man, we got an interior to explore. Oh, actually, I should grab that coin. <laughs> I was thinking I'm at full health for some reason. Um. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, 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 by the way, these are called hint networks, not billboards, so I made a mistake before. But there's actually things called billboards, as you've seen before, so you can see how I got it confused. Here's a tip, you can use bombs to your advantage, wanna see how? Yeah! <laughs> there you go! So you're walking around, you're dodging some zappy stuff, oh man, you're using the ba bombs to go and explode something on the other side, how handy! <laughs> Look at that! It's like a little tutorial area, you don't really have to do that, I think. Well, actually, maybe you do, because I think that hole is plugged. Yeah, look at that, that's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> I just kind of always did that instantly, because I could see the solution to it. Cause I seen the bomb -bom over there and I was like, oh yeah, it, it follows you and you probably gotta lead it along that path. And it shouldn't be too difficult to do so. Down here! Down here! Explore! I can't collect those. Alas, alas, they are beneath the glass. I think I got everything else out of here. Okay, so let's go in. <laughs> yeah! What you got to say for your hint? I can go outside, I'll give you a hint for helping me. You can stop that ba with a spin. I pick him up, shake the weaver around to throw. Yeah! Don't fall in the black hole. See, look at that. And you go like, woohoo! <laughs> kinda, kinda seen that in the other game, but that's okay. You gotta give the tutorial in this game. <laughs> oh man, this looks weird. Looks very weird. Oh jeez, it's Topman. Well, spiky Topman, to be more precise. Oh man! Oh man, you can't jump on them. Oh man, you gotta knock them off. <laughs> Mini top men, they are the most kawaii of all critters. <laughs> but yeah, they, all the stuff basically, are, they're pretty pretty immune to your jumping, basically. And then there's regular top men probably hanging out over here that don't have a spike on their head. Having a, go oh, having a good time. And yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here, I'm gonna do this. Gonna do that, gonna do a little bit of this, gonna defend myself so I don't get knocked into the black holes. And yeah, the mini ones I guess are vulnerable to your spins, because they're, they're mini, they're not, they're not quite as strong, or as, you know, quite, not quite as durable compared to our other mechanical friends. <laughs> yeah, obviously a full star hanging out over there, but we don't want to do that until we clear out every last star bit. No, no. I guess we got all every last star bit. <laughs> all right, we're good. And uh, these right here, they're electric pressure. Yeah, there's actually a name for these. <laughs> uh, it's not really super obvious, but I, I guess it's, I, I think it's like electric cannons because they're shooting balls of lightning. But well, but well, I guess not. Uh, you stinker! You stinker! <laughs> Yeah, the ball, oh, ball of lightning does indeed follow you. Don't, don't let yourself fall too far there. <laughs> this is a black hole awaiting you, so just keep on going. <laughs> and now I got one of these, like you had on the other one. Uh oh, oh man! <laughs> so now we got to kind of figure out our way around here. I'll just kind of, kind of offset my timing a little bit there. I'll just kind of flip flop there. Oh no, yeah, I'm falling straight. Oops. <laughs> See, that's why you don't want to fall too far. <laughs> it's not like the other one. <laughs> oh man, I'm really far back. Alright, time to speed run. We already showed this stuff. Yeah, speed running! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go through everything as quickly as humanly possible, which probably will not be super fast for me, like, because of that. <laughs> I don't know why, I, I just grabbed the wrong thing for one thing, that's that's a problem. 
All right, go, 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 go. <laughs> and you know, I'm just gonna zoom over here. And oh no, that failed. Totally failed. <laughs> okay. Now, now I'm gonna try over here. And then over. Wait, actually no. I want to go like. Uh, <laughs> I want to grab. Uh, well, not quite. <laughs> I wanted to grab, like, one straight across and then one uh, adjacent to re-angle myself. Like that! There we go! <laughs> I just kind of panicked for some reason. Now that I was at one health, my flight or fight came into play, I guess, and I refocused myself. <laughs> yeah! Another star is in my possession along with another comet medal. Woo, which we didn't have to collect three times as we got a checkpoint. <laughs> oh man! Super unlocking zone! <laughs> Woo. But for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. We probably get the other star of that same galaxy we are at, plus, you know, explore another wow. galaxy. Perhaps with one star, like I said. <laughs> So, doo -doo, hope you enjoyed. See you next part.